Yeah, that's uh, what I actually started with. So I, I like, kind of did both. I was like doing music uh, mainly maybe when I was like quitting school, but also uh, was painting in between. But music was like like the first like artistic start. Yeah, I mean, uh, music is like very time based, so you have to like uh, put in a certain energy in like an amount of time. So especially if it's live, uh, what we did, you have like one hour, and then it has to be like perfect, and then it's time based. Whereas uh, um, art is like like standing there, no? so you can like watch. Uh, a, a painting uh, like as long as you you, you like so that's, and you can always go back it's like like reading a book uh, also you it's kind of time based but you can uh, switch back you know to the page before I mean while I am painting that there, there's all also like a, a, a similarity between like doing music because uh, I mean uh, a lot of like things are, are uh, be able to be planned, you know, uh, in a painting, but then you need a certain, uh, I, I need, like in some ways I need a certain, like, energy to, to make a certain step in a painting and that can, uh, I can uh, sometimes wait for a couple of days till I have that energy and then it's like five minutes I can put it in and then it has to be right, so that's also a similarity maybe. Yeah. it's personal but on the other hand I do like research or read, read a lot of uh, books and, and right now it's, it's uh, my, my main topic is psychophysics so the which is like like uh, the effort of, of human beings to like to get uh, control over everything and also uh, uh, to make life calculable or for to be foreseen a bit uh, it's, on the one hand, it's very interesting, but it's it's also very, like like, bad and, and like strange. You know? For me, as an artist, I cannot always like react on like daily politics. So I have to make like a uh, an entwurf, uh, like uh, I have to bring up an idea how life could be uh, maybe a little bit better, or more critical, uh, like in. in a wider forum, you know. No, I thought I, I'll, I'll invent like a, a very uh, simple shape of a, a human face and then uh, it's all ovals, it's very simple. You have to, the head is an oval, the eyes are ovals, and then I, I wanted to find out how much like the character in that simple shape can change. No? So it's also, of course, my condition which I'm in in that moment when I do it, but also it, it changes also by chance, maybe. No? No, I think this like like barrier where, where people are declared to be sick, that's... Uh, much too intense. I mean, I think that that like a little bit like what what doctors call illness is is quite normal in everybody. So I believe that everybody is like a in a way a, a freak. So you know? so that's what we have to accept. So there's no normality at all. So it's only some people are more in that direction and some are more in the other direction maybe. Yeah, there is a certain uh, utopia in it. Uh, I mean, uh, there is like like both sides. I mean, the critical state we are in, and also the possibility how it could be. But but also, yeah, yeah it's very fragile. So the, I mean, uh, yeah, it, it's societies they work pretty well. But it's, if if there's some little thing, little disturbance, the whole like card house falls together. You know. So it's it's all, always very fragile systems, but if everybody like takes care, uh, then the, then it's it can work, you know. But everybody has to take care and doesn't doesn't 
have to take that much advantage out of others and then it, it might work in a positive way, is what I think. Yeah, but it's also you have much more freedom uh, when, when you are like an artist, you can like, like express your thoughts in a more freer way than uh, uh, you can do when you, when you are a scientist or so. And then you're kind of like, like fixed or nailed to your limited uh, schedules and your barriers. And, and if you do physics, for example, you have like, like that little corridor you have to work in. And then, of course, you, you reach points where you can't come further, maybe. But as an artist, you can go every direction, more or less. So. Well, I think you don't need a special like knowledge or language when you watch art. But of course, uh, you can, uh, I mean, there can be a discussion, you know, going on or be started. But I think everybody can uh, have something, I mean, uh, out of it. I mean, you don't, uh, I mean, sometimes, uh, I mean, I, I see myself in a tradition of like modernism a bit, which was like, like hacked, uh, hacked down in, in the Second World War and, and continued like differently. But that's a tradition uh, which, which of course I'm, I'm kind of in. But you don't have to know everything about it to understand uh, painting, maybe. I, I think I believe that paintings have a certain like uh, aura or power which, which can be like, like uh, can be put it in and comes back in a certain way. You know? It can be very intense no? also. No? I mean, there's also there's some like paintings you, you might, so if they are in a museum, you might come back like from time to time because they give you something. And no, I, I, I hope that, uh, that what I put in uh, can be transported in a way so that when, when somebody looks at it and it's like, a, like, like vibrated like when you hear music and then, then it's fine I guess. Yeah.